Howdy. So, before we get into this reading, can you do me a favor and let me know in the comments below how you are just doing, right? I really do want to know. I like to check in with my peeps. So, uh, let's just get into this reading, y'all. Hey, girl. My beautiful Gemini, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valkyrie, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot reading today, Gemini. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you today, I'd love for you to let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, Gemini, because that is how I keep up with you guys. This through the comments, Gemini, uh, as well, if you do enjoy this reading, or you just enjoy my uh, vibe, rather, Gemini. I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help out my tarot channel a lot, and I was super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to give me that support in that way, Gemini. And before we get into this weekly reading for you today, Gemini, I just want to remind you to use your intuition when it comes to my weekly readings, because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't, because I promise you, I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. And so, I believe my weekly readings here are just here to give you a perspective, a thought for, some food for thought um, to consider as you go throughout your week, but never making the decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine. So, with all that being said, my beautiful Gemini, let's get into your weekly reading. So, I pulled some cards for you already, Gemini, just so I could see the journey that you guys are currently in right now, so I could get an understanding of what it is that we're dealing with, right, Gemini? So, for you guys, uh, you guys have the Queen of Fire as well as the Knight of Earth coming in for you, and I'll read them both for you. The Queen of Fire says, stretch your wings and fly, don't underestimate yourself, and assert your creativity and independence. Whereas, <laughs> excuse me, Gemini, Whereas the Knight of Earth says, time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments and a guardian angel. Now, so for this uh, card in specific, Gemini, I always like to see this card as the card that steps forward whenever one of your spirit guides, your ancestors, some type of spiritual being is trying to get in contact with you. So if you subscribe to that belief system, Gemini, I do strongly suggest trying to connect to your guides this week. Uh, there's definitely one trying to reach out to you to get your attention to bring forth some type of message, right? So when you have this dynamic together, the thing that they have in common, Gemini, is that they both are getting out of their comfort zone. Uh, this is a very ambitious energy. This is an energy of doing something you probably haven't done before, right? So Gemini, you, I applaud you in this sense because it's like a lot of you guys are really challenging yourself, it seems. You're challenging yourself on how you um, just really in general, like trying to change up your life for just like the long call, Gemini. I really just get the sense that you're not interested in doing uh, anything that you used to do, or you're just not, it's like you're just trying to, to dramatically just change things up, break the routine in your life in some type of way. So let's get some clarifying cards actually uh, for this right now. Let's see. Let's, let's see if we can get a little bit more detail on what the journey has been like for my Geminis. Alright, put these cards over here. Now, Gemini, we have coming in for you the Nine of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles, and then you have the Two of Cups. So, what it is that you guys are trying to do, you guys seem to be inspired to go into um, really pushing yourself into a new comfort uh, zone, into doing something new. It seems like you guys are inspired to do this because you guys are craving um, something that uh, satiates you. So this could be in terms of like with this two cups here, we can't neglect um, my Geminis that are craving some type of just like a deeper connection. It doesn't have to be romantic, right? It could just be the sense of where, you know, for some of you Geminis, maybe you're just searching for your person, right? Maybe you're just searching for someone to understand you more, to that gets your way of thinking so you don't have to explain yourself, right? For others of you Gemini, it is the sense of, especially with the sign of pentacles here, something that just 
this will sustain you even in like a financial way. We can't neglect that, especially with all this earth energy that's in your reading, uh, earth or pentacle energy, right? Because pentacles are earth. Is the earth element. So really, this is what it is that you're trying to just have like a new start with. This is what it is you're trying to just change things up. Maybe for some of you Geminis, you just have been in this place of being tired of uh, having to do the same old thing and getting paid so little, right Gemini? So it seems like you guys, especially as a queen of fire, trying to find a new approach you're kind of telling yourself it's just like no it doesn't have to be this way there has to be something else that i could be doing here that's more profitable so it's almost just like for some of you uh gemini can't just help but wonder if like some of you guys are just in your head about feeling as if you're doing uh living your life just in the wrong way i can't help but feel like there's just like the sense of feeling defeated or just frustrated with how things have just been turning out in your life and when i say this i know that sounds so dramatic but it just feels like for some of you gemini's it's like everything that you've been trying to put energy into it's almost like you're getting the um opposite result for what it is that you're hoping for right so it's almost just like because of this it's like you're getting in your head you're starting to doubt yourself and your own like capabilities almost gemini but maybe i'm wrong right Maybe that's me just projecting, right, Gemini? Uh, but now, let's see the journey that you're going to be currently going through for this week. And you guys have the Ten of Earth or the Ten of Pentacles. So this is continuing on in the energy that I was referencing before, Gemini, uh, about where it's really heavily talking about something financial. And also the Earth energy is just talking about like your stability, right? Um, just your overall stability. So whether that's like your emotional stability, mental stability, <laughs> um, financial stability, all of that. Uh, so this card says a very happy family life financial security, finding the magic in little things in life, right? So it's all encompassing in this way. So let's see what details we can get about this. Let's see uh, what this 10 of Earth is all about for my Geminis this week. Okay. Let's see here. I keep on seeing the number eight Gemini. So for those that re resonates for, um, definitely look up the number eight for numerology to see how that just correlates in your reading. But the clarifiers that we have for your 10 of earth, we have the full card coming in for you, Gemini. We have the nine of wands coming in for you. And then you have the page of wands coming in for you. So yeah, really heavy leaning into because my page of wands is my fresh start and this is not the page of wands honey my <laughs> page of wands gemini is my card of a fresh start wanting a fresh start going after a fresh start right wands energy is fire as well and is the element for fire or fire is the element for wands rather get my words right so it's very much so in this vein with this queen of fire for uh from before gemini and so when you have this under your ten of earth it's very interesting because it's like even with the fool card it's that fresh start right the fool is the beginning of a journey of some sort um pages represent the new beginning of something like new energy right a lot of new and this is all you undertaking this yourself uh gemini something's in my eye now randomly but yeah um <laughs> let me just continue reading as i like rub out my eye with this nine of wands it seems like this is a journey that you're trying to undertake this doesn't really feel like a this doesn't really feel like any type of thing that like i really get like a pretty solitude week a pretty like just um week or where it's just kind of like to yourself a lot of self-reflective energy whatever this is that you're trying to put energy into gemini right you, when we talk about like wanting to just do like things just completely new for you trying to just change things up spicing things up in your life um it kind of just seems like almost for some of you guys gemini you're trying to find something that just excites you something that sparks this passion for you right because that is what the fool craves like even though even though it's under this umbrella gemini of uh maybe even needing that financial security or some type of security and stability in your life um you're wanting it 
in just a way that you haven't had it before or the way that you go about a, obtaining it you just want it to be different from the way that you've normally obtained it you're just looking to challenge yourself a little bit uh gemini whether it's just because you just liking to challenge yourself or this is just a sense of where you just don't like how things have been getting the results of what it is that you've been getting. So you're just looking to be like, all right, well, since this isn't working out anymore, let me just change everything up, right? So uh, interesting cards with that, though I feel like I always say that, don't I? Don't I? Uh, now let's get into a uh, journey to come for you, Gemini. In the journey to come, you guys have the two of fire coming in for you. So the two of fire says you've come into your own. Uh, new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward. So, yeah, when it, once you, it does seem to be like once you find this thing that drives you, this pa uh, the spark, right? The thing that you really like, you grab onto it and just give the hooks on, and just like you, ah, this is my thing. This is the thing I wanted, um, right? Then that's like I see you going, being able to accomplish this, and that's when the four uh, growth happens. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm reaching over. I have like a bunch of decks uh, to the side, uh, Gemini. So I was reaching for um, a different one to pull some clarifiers for this two of fire. So yeah, this is definitely. I see you, uh, Gemini, committing to this new journey. I see you committing to this just like new slate of energy. Gemini. So let's see how it turns out. Let's see what other details we can get. Okay. So the clarifiers we have going on for you for that two of fire, Gemini. We have the Queen of Swords with the Page of Pentacles, and then the Eight of Pentacles, Gemini. So breaking this down with that two of fire the world kind of being your oyster uh in essence right did i even show you this card that much uh gemini uh i really am getting this sense of you're not trying to have you're trying to do things differently gemini even with like this new journey that you're undertaking you're kind of just being like hmm, how can i approach this from a more secure stable place how can i set the proper boundaries but still feed energy into this as the page of pentacles right um especially with the eight of pentacles as well this is the time of where it's like you're trying to learn deepen um your understanding on things right that's i mean you look at the individual that are like studying right so yeah you're in this very studious place and being like all right um you're, you're, you're fig trying to figure out like the best like you're doing this new approach but you're trying to refine that approach and be like all right well if i'm going to go down this path if i'm going to take this risk with this new job with this person with whatever it is that we're talking about that's fitting for your life uh gemini it feels like you're just super observant super trying to uh, just improve on yourself so yeah even though you're really i see you being really in your head uh gemini with this whole situation and like being the reason what it seems like whatever was the reason that causes you to just completely change things up and be inspired to change things up even though it kind of like you it causes you to be critical of yourself gemini it does seem to like give you the nice payout in the sense of where it's like <laughs> that motivation sparks something really beautiful for you that challenges you to um just like a new beginning of sorts right just a better understanding of just yourself and just holds yourself accountable so uh yeah let's look at the blessings to come that that are in the works for my gemini though right let's talk about that let's see if we can get any insight on that right all right page of wands is following you gemini <laughs> so really talking about fresh start fresh starts in the works for you three of cups with the death card as well so gemini really with this new start right you are releasing <laughs> dare i say gemini some of you guys have probably been considering um opening yourself up to new people 
right? This is a very specific message, but I do get like, you're trying to open up to, uh, new, like making the decision to open up to new people, right? Starting fresh with some people, right? With this Three of Cups energy, this feels familiar. This doesn't feel like something that's new coming into your life that you're going to be opening up to. It feels like someone that you already are recognize. Um, and it feels like with the Page of Wands and the Death card, those two are kind of attached in a way of where it's just like, maybe before you weren't necessarily willing to open yourself up to a certain person, or you just weren't receptive towards a person, whatever your storyline is, right? I see you coming back to this and being like, the fresh starts happening with somebody. Um, and then, so especially if this is a blessing in the work for you, um, Gemini, I do get this sense that someone that you've probably maybe didn't have like that grand of a, especially if you haven't or if you're needing to have a fresh start. I guess that's just me being presumptuous at this point, Gemini, but it is leading me to believe that maybe like if you're having this fresh start, um, maybe right now you guys aren't really all that on um, wonderful terms. Right? But that's just a presumption, right? So that is something to look forward to. Even then, do we want to pull clarifiers on that though? I don't think we do. Do you think so, Gemini? I don't think so. I think we kind of got a point across with that, right? So definitely be on the lookout for that. You, I won't be surprised, Gemini, if you have someone coming back from your past in some capacity. Um, it would be very recent past, um, by the way. But I wouldn't be surprised if you end up reconnecting with someone from your past or reconnecting with someone that uh, maybe you always just pass by them but never struck up conversation. But regardless, whatever it is, it's definitely someone that you've run, ran into before. But now let's close out this reading, Gemini, with some Oracle cards for you, right? Let's see what the Oracle has to say for Gemini get a couple of moon cards and then we'll get a couple of animal spirit cards one more all right we'll start with your animal oracle cards uh my beautiful gemini we have the kiwi card dual walking meditation each day for the next week and then you have it paired with the mountain goat there's something out of balance in your life so do whatever you need to do to correct it so very much interesting because this is very very reflective of this pile right here, Gemini, right? Of like the beginning journey that we had going on for you, Gemini, where it's just like something was out of balance in your life that you identified as being out of balance. And then you were in this place of trying to do active improvements, trying to do changes and just changing things up in your life, Gemini, so you could bring things back into balance. But in a new way like i don't feel like you're trying to do the same like it just seems like you're tired of like some type like doing something in the same way every single time right it looks like it just feels like you're wanting something just overall just new so and then gemini for your moon oracle cards we have the blue moon believe in the impossible paired with the super moon we actually just recently had the super moon and scorpio emotions are running high so believing in the impossible emotions are running high um, let's actually pull some clarifiers on this and see what in specific this is talking about. Alright, so we have the High Priestess, Eight of Cups, and then the Ten of Cups. And Gemini, you have some fear about somebody. There's almost like this sense of where it's, it's going to be very specific, but it's almost just like you're wondering if something's too late. Um, if something's too late because it does feel as if like, um, yeah, I, and this may be attached to like the blessing that we talked about where it's just like someone coming back into, uh, your life almost, but it's almost just like you, there's somebody that's on your mind that, especially with that super moon emotions are high, there may have been like a misunderstanding or just like, you guys are just not emotionally on the same page right now, honey. And it's on your mind, weighing on your mind pretty heavy. Um, I don't feel like there is, there is rather some distance here. So I don't feel like this conversation at this point um, with this High Priestess card, but we have it believe in the impossible. Maybe for some of you guys, uh, Gemini, you feel defeated in some type of social situation. I do feel like it's in specific to the social situation. Um, uh, you feel like it's kind of a lost cause. And I feel like um, it's attached 
to the blessings reading that we had for you where it's saying that someone's coming back into your situation starting something fresh so um yeah take that as you will Gemini. but uh that that is the reading that i have for you this week gemini if you enjoyed this reading be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe and then also gemini i do weekly readings for all the zodiac signs so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they are not rather uh gemini send them my video for their zodiac sign and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them anyways but until next time gemini i love you so much